Hi everybody and welcome back to Cozy Corner Crafts. So today's craft will be for April 24th. I think that's the right date. And it's going to be something that is kind of with your craft that you did last week. So last week you did a flower. So what is a creature that loves flowers? You said hummingbird? It's not a hummingbird, it's an insect. It is a bumblebee. So in your craft kit, you're going to get the following items. You're going to get a paper plate, which is going to be the body for your bumblebee. You are going to get some black strips of paper for the black stripes of the bumblebee. So you're going to get three of them. So it's up to you if you want to use all three or if you're only going to use two. You're going to get tissue paper. We love tissue paper. And then the last thing in there is going to be a googly eye, a very big googly eye, and a strip of paper. So what we're going to do with this is you're going to need a pair of scissors and you're going to need some glue. And what we're going to do is we're going to make the wings for our bumblebee. So I'm going to do that first. So I am going to cut out some very big wings for our bumblebee. Oh. So what do you think? They look pretty nice wings. Oh, I can't see them. So here's our wings for our bumblebee. That's going to go on the top of your plate. So let's make our bumblebee. First of all, we're going to do is we're going to get some glue and we're going to put it all over our bumblebee body. We're going to just start with that first. Now we're going to get our yellow. And we're going to put it on our tissue paper. We've done this before, haven't we? I think you guys did some sharks. Let's see, put some over there. Over there, we're going to pat it down. And hopefully I gave you enough yellow. And if you don't, of course, if you wanted to, you could actually color the paper plate instead of using the tissue paper. So now I'm going to put the eye on for the bumblebee. I am making a mess. But that's the best part of doing crafts, right? Now I'm going to take my black strips and I'm going to put them for Let's see, I think I don't need it that big, so I'm going to cut it. And then here's my last one. And again, it doesn't have to be that big. So now I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to glue this one. He's starting to look like a bumblebee and we're going to glue this one down too don't you guys know any songs about bumblebees i know there's one about itsy bitsy bumblebee won't you sing your name for me it's kind of fun song. But if you guys know any other songs about bumblebees, you can actually send it to the library at info at mournvillelibrary.ca and I would love to hear your bee songs. That is the body of the bumblebee. And now we're going to put on the wings. So I'm actually going to use some hot glue for this one. OK, 
because I want to make sure it stays on. If you've ever watched my videos, you know that when I use the regular glue, it doesn't last, it doesn't stick very well for me. Because I'm in a, a little bit of a hurry when I do it. You guys take more time than I do. There is our bumblebee. Buzz, 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 buzz. I hope you like this craft. And we'll see you Thursday at 10.30 to 11 for Cozy Corner Stories. Bye, guys. Buzz, 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 buzz. Oh, and tell me, have you seen any bumblebees yet? Let me know, okay? Thank you. Bye, guys.